Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode on the Autopsy Simulator. As you all know, yesterday we uh, finished the prologue, about 50 minutes long. We did one case. It started to be out a little bit creepy at the end, so uh, we are Forget very me. curious today what this game has to offer us. We ended up with a big nightmare. And oh, during what? the autopsy, we figured out, or we f actually saw Christ. someone standing oh, what a dream. Oh, um, fuck. in the doorway, like like a paranormal entity, like like the, the 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 same figure of the guy that was on the table. But now we're actually starting to play chapter one. The game is now actually starting. So, well, yeah, we were about to take your pills in the bathroom. All right, let's go. I'm still ill, uh, and I feel a lot better than yesterday. So much light everywhere. Oh yeah, because that's how the world works, man. I still had, uh, yesterday I had a very sore throat, but today my nose is filled up with hey <laughs> hey yeah you know what it means. So sometimes you hear me sniff sniff. Ah, uh, all right, some things. I just feel like setting fire to all this paperwork. Why not today? I'm fed up with it. Picture of us, probably me and my wife. My wife and I. He's not saying anything, okay. He did some uh, great things, man. An indispensable element of every office. I should really try and read a few of these. You mean the bookshelf filled with books? Is that what you need in uh, in the office? I, mean, I, I know we have to go to the bathroom, I know. But I'm, I like to explore a little bit. mood for music lately. We are both in the mood to watch some TV, right? Another picture. Why can't we interact with all I these pictures? I have more will to live than I do. Oh, he's so negative, man. Come on. Looks actually really great. They even put details in the outside world. Read things from... I can't really... Um, zoom in, though. Greetings from Rola. Steven and Alice are doing well. We bake cakes. Okay, so that's not really necessary, right? On the downside, you're getting old. On the plus side, unlike me, you won't start going bald. Happy birthday, my dear sister Steven. Okay. But that's our wife. She passed away, we heard in the first part of the game. And we are a forensic... Um... What do you call it? Forensic scientists. We figure out what happened to the people that died. The remnants of last night's binge with Steven. I'm not sure if it's still edible. Okay, we're gonna go to the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Wait, what's in this box? Can we open this box? <gasps> we can open this box. I did not see that. It's Let's grab the cash, man. Something for a rainy day. Okay, so, so much stuff, man. Come on. What? what? She Earrings. Got her first day of work, and <laughs> she broke it the same day. She said it was for luck. Okay. It's just for Ellis, really not for luck. Coffee didn't wash off the writing. <sighs> Will you marry me? Ah. Oh, that is freaking cute, man. That's actually a great idea. Do us part. Ooh, wait, she's pregnant. Support her through this. <gasps> wait, fuck no. She was pregnant and died? No. That's sad, man. Oh, boy. He lost his wife and a potential child. Oh, that's sad. All right, let's keep going. Keeps the defective Jack away. It's Always take the red pill, ladies and gentlemen, not the blue pill. Otherwise, you stick around to the Matrix. Get a ring on. Answer the phone. The fucking phone. Okay, okay. I know I'm late. I'll be there soon. It's not like a dead or impatient. Jack, no. Uh, Alice? Who, who is this? It's Charlotte Graves. Oh, uh, oh, God, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. I thought... Uh, I thought it was work calling. It's okay. I hate it when work calls me at home, too. Uh, how is everything? We haven't talked since... You know. uh, well, there are good days, and there are bad days. What can I say? At least I can hide away at work. Well, you always were the 
most comfortable in the dissecting room. Listen, I have an unusual request. Okay. How can I help? It's nothing serious. I just wanted to ask. Do you have any pictures of Alice? Maybe one where the two of us are together? I'd love to have something to remind me of her. I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll look through her things. Thank you. I'm sorry to trouble you with this. All this can't be easy for you. I'll get through it somehow. I've been meaning to sort through her stuff for a while. Have you asked Stephen if he has anything? Yes, I, I spoke with him this morning. He said he gave everything to their mother and that I should ask you. I see. Jack, I know you're trying, that you cope somehow. Stephen's there for you, although, well, we all know how he can be. But, um, I mean, if you want him to reminisce about Alice, talk. I really should go now. I overslept, I'm late for work, and, uh, and I still have some errands to run on the way. Oh. Okay. Sure. Sorry to keep you. I'll look for something and send it over. Thanks for the call, and bye. Oh, do you have my address? Um, not on hand. You'd best remind me again. 292 Browning Lane, apartment 432. Johnson City, New York, 13790. Oh, I'm not gonna remember that okay. shit. Thanks. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. Just miss her so much. Yeah, me too. And that's okay. Really, no problem. Thank you. Take care, Jack. You too, Charlotte. It was nice to hear you. Intense uh, conversation, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Intense with the music well, on the background. That was a bit unexpected. I should probably find something to send. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Our, our, um... Our mind did a little bit of, like, the blurriness, and when that happened yesterday... Yeah, I'll shower later. Uh, we saw that, or it's during the work, we saw that man standing in the doorway. That was creepy. So I think, in a way, this game has a little bit, uh, things, uh, like, um... Mortuary system, like these, uh, uh, like these quiet scares, like, just the... These smooth scares that someone is standing or peeking around the corner. Not like loud jump scares or the body that's switching. We will probably see that. We just played the prologue and now we're playing chapter 1. I hope we're going to have a blast. Um, we need to find a photo of Alice and... And... Uh, with Charlotte on it, right? And then send it to her. Oh. No, that's not a photo of Alice. Uh, it's a photo of Alice, but we can't send it to her. So we're gonna go back to that box. I know it's there, but maybe there's someone as well. Something here as well. Oh, John, tomorrow at 2 p.m. now. We already forgot that, though. It hurts too much to look at these. But I can't throw them away. It's a very good atmosphere in this house. Like, I like the light setting in this house. It's very well made. Also, no picture there. Did the right picture then? It's very sad, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I would do if I lose my uh, my girlfriend, though. I don't know. A lot of shit happened already in my life. It's been almost a year. Without her, I don't know. She makes sure that I stay on the right path. I do the things that I need to do. Okay, well, where can we find a picture of Alice? Menu for today. Dinner in town and takeaway coffee. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. After looking for oh, quite a while. I've been trying to lift this ladder. I've been trying to grab every picture again. Rotating it very slowly. But look at this. There's like a little drawer. In this little box. And then Alice we finally got the picture. Amsterdam. It's not Amsterdam, but okay, sure. Maybe, maybe the outside of Amsterdam, but I don't believe so. But okay. It's hard to believe they've known each other for so long. <sighs> I do know where the envelope is. Charlotte had this. It deserves to be on display and not hidden in a drawer. 
There is it. Because we, I already found okay. it because I went over every Time desk like 20 work. times. But I'm seriously late. Yeah, we need to go to work. Okay. Post the letter in the mailbox. Where's the mailbox? Probably outside somewhere, right? Yeah. I don't know how that works in this uh, country where we are. I should grab some coffee and aspirin on the way. I'm lazy, can we? Oh shit. Almost left the door open. These fluorescent tubes are brutal. Oops. Are we gonna use the elevator or are we gonna use the stairs? I won't say I'm lazy, but I like the stairs. Hello? I don't know how how high we live though, but must be somewhere. One in the two and the three in the four. I don't know how long it takes. Ooh. Thank you. There it is. Let's go in the elevator. We might actually miss a scare otherwise. Okay. Now we have to nail the letter. Took a little bit longer than I expected. What is game to be or opening chapter though? I like, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I'm a little bit slow with these things, but I also like to take in the game, eh? I also like to enjoy the, what, what all the details they brought into the game. Oh, wow. Can we drive ourselves? That would be freaking fantastic, man. Um, no. We're gonna do it first in the mailbox, right? Standard correspondence consisting of bills. I don't think this request, is I think to put it in. This, reminders about this is how we received the email, right? So there's no other way to go. We can't go there. Can we go there? Can you open it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Maybe they'll finally fix that door. Alright, so I think we have to put it somewhere outside, right? So we're gonna go outside. Going uh, that way. Are you kidding me? Can we? Oh my! Actually, really looks great, ladies and gentlemen. It it, it 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 wants me to. It makes me want to play uh, Cyberpunk again. That's the thing I was looking for. All righty, with the sad music in the background. Let's dissect some people, people, ladies and gentlemen. Because okay. <laughs> that's what All we're doing. Done here. Time All to done here. Time to... Huh? Are we schizophrenic? That would be actually really great in this game. It would be fitting, though. Someone actually standing there? No, it really looks great. There's a lot of details everywhere. The game is very well optimized. Is this hardcore? Fantastic. Ah, damn. I forgot my jacket. Ah, well. I'll brave it for tonight. Too bad. Did I have a choice to grab a jacket? I don't think so. Medical examiner, let's go. <sighs> nice and fresh. At least it's peaceful here. But why, why are you doing your job in the night, mate? Can't you just do this during the day? Ooh, there was a little bit of a lag there. I think yeah, the the map had to load Good it a little bit. Good evening, Mr. Ridley. <clears throat> the time Oof. sheet handling. Oh, okay. Remember to sign Handman. <laughs> That's us. We are Jack Handman. Okay. What the fuck? Even coffins here. That's creepy. I don't know why, but it's creepy. Awesome. Can we sign in then? Please use the bell only once and wait patiently. Bang, 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 bang. Hey, dude. Have a good evening, man. Let's go. Some corpses have more personality than this guy. Why was the prologue so much more darker and everything was locked? Like this room was locked as well. Okay. Now let's go to the office, right? 
Let's go. Christ. Wait, way warmer. The window open in the middle of November. Uh, so I, I do. Better check the answering machine. Hi, Jack. I dropped by a little early today. I left the body with Ridley in the corridor. He wasn't sitting in the locker then, so maybe he'll even throw him into the room. <laughs> well, how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, it's your first birthday without her, and... Oh, happy birthday me. This, um... I still have a hangover, and you know me. I run to the john like the neighbor's fucking dog. You know, today I slipped on his shit again. That fucking furball. He always had to shit next to my car. Anyway, I can't come over in the evening, but we'll catch up on the weekend, okay? Bye. So is, I almost is forgot. Charlotte called me this morning. She asked about you, so answer your calls, Jack. It's time to start a reprimand for being late. <laughs> That's bar for the course. I wonder when this clown will learn to look under his feet. Expect your muffin. Birthday. Lovely. I actually forgot it was today. Alice baked me muffins like these every birthday. <clears throat> a treat for later. I always crave something sweet after a section. <sighs> okay. But he was going to say something over. else though. Apron, gloves, and get to work. All right, let's go, Lachman. Uh, this is finally after 25 minutes or 30 minutes that we can actually finally play the game. That's creepy, man. So dark. Alright, let's get spooked. What is this room? Oh, wow. That's an this room is new. I haven't seen this room yesterday. Or the prologue. What the fuck? Oh, we gotta really do some cool stuff in this game. Amazing. But I'm a little bit dumb with the music already. <laughs> Just check it out a little bit, so... Huh? Okay. I got bucked out there a little bit. Alright. Let's go. Oh, that's... Hello? Who is Steven? Is that the brother of Alice? I remember you. You were on that talent show. What was your name again? Oh, that's sad, man. I need to order another batch of these. I've got to remember to do that later. <laughs> and that's the whole point. Her name is Samantha Barker. Hello, some. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. There are some stuff on. Uh, some weird abrasions on her. I don't know if it's said correctly, though, but you know what I mean. On her hand and the arm. Something happened to her throat, though. So, like, she was. Um, strangled. Steven laughs at me for recording everything. He says I have a bigger collection of stuff like this than most of the creeps he's caught. <laughs> November 21st, 1991. Time, 9.13 p.m. The autopsy is conducted by Jack Handman. Lecture for the Medical University of Missouri. After yesterday's lecture, you should already know the ins and outs. So today we'll be consolidating our knowledge. So... Where do I start? That's right. Police folder. Yeah, I know. I was trying to find the police folder. Alright, there we go. Who is Samantha Bark and what happened to her? Let's find it out, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yes. Samantha Barker. Now I remember. There's probably going to be a lot of chatter about this. Superstar talent show winner, Samantha, Samantha Barker. Damn it. When questioned. Friends admitted that Samantha's last days before losing contact seemed extremely happy and relaxed. She yeah, also she's been killed. Alcohol had mentioned something about rehab. The friend also admits that there was no indication of an impending tragedy. Hey. Found in her own apartment by police patrol. Officers were called by a concerned friend of the deceased who had been unable to contact Barker for several days. Body found in the armchair. In her own home. Oh boy. There are two possibilities. Overdoses. 
Uh, so she OD'd or she's been killed. That's what I think. Let's figure it out. During the interrogation, a friend of the deceased admitted that Samantha never got to grips with the sudden fame that came after winning such a high-profile talent show. Okay. Uh, I'm leading after slowly the towards the OD stuff. Success, she was hit with a creative drought. She suffered panic attacks and severe sleep problems. Drugs and medication came into Whoa. play. Whoa, what if, what if the killer, what if she's really killed? And what if the killer knew all about this and the killer just made it look like she passed away of by her own doing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing to think about. The deceased was found in her own apartment in a semi-recumbent position on an armchair. Large quantities of alcohol and empty packets of sleeping pills were also found in the apartment. I hope, I hope I'm with the first one I'm right that, 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 the kid, that she's been killed. Okay, that's everything, All right? Well, let's see what settled this matter. As you can see, the body is fully clothed. Therefore, before we move on to photographic documentation, we must remove the remove clothes. clothes. Okay. This time, we don't have to focus on the clothes too much. However, there are cases where a clothing analysis can lead to the cause of death. And why do you think now not? I don't get that. Remove clothes from the cadaver, alright. Okay. It looks very thin though, right? Okay, now we can continue with the examination. Again, begin by taking photographs of the cadaver. I guarantee that over time it will cease being embarrassing for you. You know what, for me, the the thing is, I we have to do this as content creators on YouTube, we have to blur this out, so they... They added it to the game, so it's standard in the game, but I... It's just a game, I don't know why we have to do that. It, for me, it's just like... It's a game, it's part of the game, why can't we just show it? But there are rules for it, right? And we're gonna follow those rules. Otherwise, there won't be Mr. Moons anymore. Grab the camera. Edison camera. First, we photograph the whole body. I know. I know. And now, any suspicious looking marks or wounds? Uh, well, we need to make five. You don't get such bruises from a normal contusion. See, it's, it's actually interfering with my uh, gameplay. I don't like this. Not that she's just a woman. I was already annoyed yesterday with the blurry part. Mm. Yes, I've seen this many times. Wood. This part probably? On her elbow? <laughs> well, well, there's even more here. Okay. What is she seeing? What is he seeing? Something on her neck, right? Yeah. Interesting. Very uneven. We need to investigate this. See, I'm not still not better. Let me keep going. There we go. I don't think I don't think she did it on her own. I think she got killed. And the killer tried to make it look like she did it on her own. A few will we need to look into here. Alright, so the general picture. Stomach bruises. Yeah, we saw that as well. So she maybe got hit in the stomach a couple times. Uh, photo. I don't know what she, he saw on the feet though, but the neck, yeah. Uh, uh, hanging. Hanging mark. Now I think maybe. Oh! Yeah, of course. Maybe she. Okay. I was for, for more being strangled, but... Okay. Right hand, I don't know what he saw on the right hand. Just weird things, but I don't know how that's just uh, being called. Okay, we got some things to uh, to discover, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Notes prepared. Time to take a closer look. Samantha Barker. 28 years old, that's my age. God damn it. That's young. Female, white, we can see that. Date of time of examination is November 21st, and she died on November 13th. So that's quite a long time. 
Wow! Wow! Freaking out. Why is she not already uh, falling apart? She died between 7 and 3 p.m.? 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. probably? No. Rigor. I don't know what rigor was again, but we will see. Okay. Inspect the areas of concern with the magnifying glass. Oh, yeah. We have to get used to the game still. The number of bruises suggests that there may have been some kind of tussle. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I, I'm... These are bad bruises, man. Like she, like, like the part on the stomach. Like she Such got hit. Like bruises are bam, caused by either bam. a very heavy blow or by some internal issues. Wow. Okay, what a detail. Let's let's some focus on the neck a little bit. Imprinted more strongly, others less, as if someone was um, undecided. I don't know what he meant by that. And here's something interesting. The skin of the deceased is covered with numerous blisters. Some of them are ruptured. Uh -huh. Others still contain fluid residue. Oh. E. Eh. Yeah. Let's look at the feet. More numerous blisters. Why does she have so many blisters? And why does she have we these, have like, to big bruises? Here. Let's write this down. All right. Given the condition of the deceased, it's difficult to tell immediately whether the bruises were the result Built of bruise, or perhaps the result of iron deficiency. Uh, I'm going with the first one, man. Multiple bruises and injuries possible from attack. Yeah, I'm pretty Currently, sure. Currently, it's difficult to say whether the bruises were the result of a beating or whether it could be some kind of internal bleeding. I think a beating, for sure. General, Some of those jealous. Such blisters usually appear in the case of mechanical abrasions, but due to the place of occurrence, this should be excluded. The most likely cause of such skin changes is the high concentration of barbiturates in the body. What the fuck are barbiturates? <laughs> what the what the heck are barbiturates? Okay, we are we are teaching ourselves some stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, that's cool. Abrasions on your feet. But the number and size of the blisters suggest that it's probably a matter of barbiturate poisoning. What do you mean with numerous and extensive fluid blisters? Barbiturate poisoning, okay. What is barbiturate? Is it? On the neck of the deceased, we can see clear furrows, indicating that strangulation may be the probable cause of death. I think so. A severed spinal cord, trauma to the larynx, or trachea will verify whether the hanging was the final nail in Miss Barker's coffin. Well, well, why hanging? She was sitting in a chair. So, so, if it's a suicide, right? If it's a suicide, she would be hanging there and not sitting in a chair. Or would she do it like this? Right? Don't get me wrong. But shh, if we need to figure out, as well, uh, Jack needs to figure out if. That stuff happened before she got put in the chair or she was sitting in the chair, right? The examination with a UV lamp will dispel. I think she's been murdered. Attackers oh, play. Traces. Her part involvement. For sure. After examining the organs, we can easily verify whether there was internal bleeding for this one. or whether the deceased was suffering from something. I'll add barbiturates to the list of necessary tests. Ah, barbiturate. Is that a uh, sleeping pills overdose? Is that what it means? To be checked in the lab later. Given the testimony of the victim's friend, I add alcohol poisoning to the list of potential causes of Miss Barker's death. A blood test will no doubt quickly verify that hypothesis. But okay. first I'll check for external traces. For okay. this we use the good old UV lab. We get a thorough external analysis with the UV lab. Okay, this is really cool. Let's go! Uh, UV lamp. Where can we find? Oh, there it is. I look carefully at the whole body. UV rays will reveal any traces. The area around the head is empty. This is so freaking cool. What am I looking for? Torso. <gasps> empty, without marks. 
Oh, this is fantastic. Right hand clean. The left hand seems to be fine. No marks. Holy legs. There's nothing here. Oh, well, nothing to surprise us here. Now, gently, we take the deceased by the hand. Oh, yeah. We go more to this. That's what we're gonna do. But what was he looking for with the UV light? And we check for rigor mortis. I don't know what rigor mortis is, but okay. Kind of hard. I don't know what he wants me to do. Again, the hand falls freely. After yesterday, you should know what this means. Since we don't have a definitive lead, we will examine all the key organs one by one. So, I'm starting the internal inspection. What did it mean again? What did, what does it mean? Rigo Mortis. It's something was within 27 hours died, right? Or 72 hours. Right. Oh. Let's grab a scalpel. I dissect the skin of the deceased. I wonder why and they go around the uh, flaps. Compared with yesterday's body, the deceased has only trace amounts of adipose tissue. Why is it so liquidish? Why are they going around the belly button? There's still blood coming out. She's been almost dead for seven seven days. <gasps> Oh my, it is not blood, but it's disgusting. This looks different than the other guy's uh, body though, right? Now for the ribs. Yeah, we need to get the lopper. What do we have here? Or rather, what don't we have? There oh, black lungs, holy shit. Of internal bleeding. Sometimes regarding bruising, it doesn't take much. <sighs> my wife was constantly banging into furniture. Walking into door frames, that's a wonder she never broke anything. Before I disembowel the deceased, I will take samples for toxicological tests to determine the alcohol content in the body. <clears throat> I just need my syringe. I know. Just to be sure, I'm taking so did samples he just... from three organs. The eyeball, the heart, and the bladder. Analysis will rule out, or confirm, alcohol poisoning as the cause of death. So did he now just um, exclude or like that the internal bleeding is not a part of how she died? So the bruises are from outside, like hit by a okay. blunt object. I'll transfer these to the centrifuge. Hmm. What was it? Fifteen, seventy, ten, uh, seventy-five. My old but trusted centrifuge. Ideal for all the fluid tests I need to perform during an autopsy. My own, but ideal for all the my own, but trusted centrifuge. Are you kidding ideal me? For all the fluid tests I need to perform during an autopsy. Do we need to go back to the office? Leave my notebook. I'm not gonna go grab the notebook, man. Numbers have never been my strong point. It's probably why I regularly forgot birthdays and anniversaries. I'm lucky Alice always forgave me. It's starting becoming ominous, man. I don't know what's going on with this game. Too creeped out. Um. Gently does it with this old thing. Handle with kid gloves. So, what, what were you looking for again? Oh, available barbiturates. Are we looking for that though, or are we looking for alcohol again?
I think I think it was uh, we're gonna try to look for beverage. But ten to seventy-five. Okay. Oh 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 come on. And fifteen, that's ten. Seventy Oh, but that's not it because we can't do it. No, it's not for this then. Time is ten minutes. We put it on ten minutes, and it's seventy-five percent speed. So it's not for that because I wasn't paying attention to the fact what we we're gonna look for. So we're gonna do blood then. Okay, that's fifteen and seventy. Okay. There we go. It was indeed for blood. I'm starting the centrifuge. Let's see what results come out. Okay. Yesterday, some the shit happened here. Open, so. Fucking hell! Uh, Ridley, Mr. Ridley. Uh, where is he? The fuses need resetting. Fuck it. Uh, I'll do it myself. Uh, I swear there was a flashlight in here. Where's the flashlight then? Where's the body? I hope she's still there, bro. He says like there was a flashlight somewhere here, right? Hey, where's the flashlight? Alright, let's just go then. There's no flashlight, there's no flashlight. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There it goes. Coming, ladies and gentlemen. That's way too dark. Uh, whatever. I know where the switches are anyway. Dude, I want my flashlight. If you don't tell me where the flashlight is. First the right, and then the left. And voila. Okay. Okay, something happened to us again. We need to find that flashlight, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise we will be in big trouble later. What? Where did it came from? Came from outside? No? Was there another room? Wait, was that one open? No, it wasn't open before. Okay. What the? Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! Can't I work in peace? Why did my door close? I didn't close the door, though. It closed in front of me. That's why I also say, "What the fuck?" Right? Jack Handman speaking. Easy. Why so rude? Steve. Sorry, man. This place is falling apart, and Ridley won't even lift a finger to help. You just can't work here. Did the centrifuge trip the fuses again? Yeah. Eventually, everything's gonna go up in smoke. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It's a free cremation with your autopsy. Jesus, stop it. Jesus, that shit man. pisses me off. Okay, sorry, Jack. Anyway, I'm calling to ask how the autopsy's going. Soon there will be journalists snipping around for info, so we best be ready. I'll whiz through this in a couple of hours. It doesn't look like a complicated case to me. More of a formality. The report will be available in the morning. Sounds great. Thanks. Phew! How's your head? Well, my head seems better than yours. Not the way to what? Holy fuck! Jack, turn on the radio! What? What's happening? Quiet! A three-car police convoy was involved in an accident near Pete's Bay Bridge while transporting prisoners to Orleans Parish Prison. At the moment, we do not know the exact number of victims or whether any of the convicts escaped. However, the scale of the accident indicates a large number of victims, possibly even fatal ones. 
police are on their way to investigate the incident and secure the area. We know that the injured prisoners are on death row. The police were to transport them to their execution, which was to take place tomorrow morning. Many of them are very dangerous criminals. We will report on the matter on an ongoing basis, so stay tuned with us. What? Was? Um... Stephen, was Red Pete one of the passengers? He was, wasn't he? What if he survived? Jack, I have to go. You want me on site? What if he survived? I gotta go. Talk to you later, okay? Fuck. Calm down, Jack. Pills. I need my pills. You, you heard him, Jack. A serious Ooh. accident. Lots of victims. He's definitely dead. Who's Red Pete? Why are we so afraid of Red Pete? Did he kill our wife? Yes. Did we put him away with our friend Steven? Nothing's going to happen. Christ. Becoming very interesting uh, at the moment. I've got to get back to work. Uh, we need to find, still find the flashlight, right? All right. Let's continue with our... Um, what? Again, that scared the crap out of me, man. I'm going to be pissed at this guy. Oi. Mate. Where are you? Why is Ripley gone? Why is he gone? <gasps> Ripley! Fuck you, yeah, this is creepy, man. That, 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 that door scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> okay. Technical break. At least I know I can pursue a career as a janitor if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! Told you it's becoming creepier and creepier. I had a feeling already. I don't trust this lady as well. And the music the whole time, right. so let's see if we were able to la, 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 this la. piece of crap. And miraculously, yes. The samples did spin. I'll transfer them to the chromograph in the lab. Okay. Place the samples into the rack. What rack? This rack? No? It's been a while since the eye wash in this thing was changed. It's probably a health hazard now. The rack. What rack? Poor soul. I get cases like this more than any other. It needs to be cold, right? So... A considerable collection. Must be somewhere in here. I don't know what you mean. So the other thing I can think of is in this room. All right, let's load this up. In a wreck. I already see the highlighted stuff. But <laughs> oh, there it is. I placed the test tubes in the rack. Take the pipette and set it to draw five millimeters now, of fluid. Just take five milliliters from each. Precisely. Yes. Cool. Okay, we go in. And the next. Let's be ready to draw 10 milliliters of fluids, okay? Let me do that. 
I told you yesterday, it's gonna be quite a slow game, but it's gonna be creepy for sure. Okay. Fifteen. I wonder what happened to her. We put the prepared sample into the machine. Let's collect the sample into the chromo chromatograph. What does that entail? Let's see what we have here. The results indicate that the deceased did consume alcohol shortly before her death. However, this is not an amount that could cause poisoning leading to death. Just slight inebriation. Okay, so... It wasn't really, uh... Alcohol was really the, 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 the cause of death? There is... Cannabis noise, cocaine, the metabolites in there, amphetamines, opiates in there as well. I, I assume. Okay. We can return to the body and continue the rest of the examination. Let's go. The chromatograph reveals so sure that we can eliminate alcohol poisoning from our list of potential it's causes of death. However, remember that alcohol can affect the functioning of the entire body. Okay. It disturbs the heart rhythm, accelerating its rate, and dilutes the blood, which may result in more severe bleeding in the event of an accident. Also remember that alcohol affects the metabolism of drugs in the liver, which I'll now look at in more detail. First. I'll pick up the syringe again. Okay. I'll take samples from the liver and the heart to test the concentration of barbiturates in the body. Barbiturates. Now we're going for barbiturates. Okay. This is so cool. It's very slow, That's but very enough. cool. I'll do the test later. I'd best not try my luck with the centrifuge right now. Now I remove the liver. Why not? Come on. Uh, liver. No lesions. However, it is slightly enlarged. Perhaps it's a slight inflammation or drug-induced damage. It may Oi. also be the result of the deposition of substances from drugs. Let's check the weight of the organ. Wait, the lady's just 40 kilograms? I just read that. Wait, what? Let me see. Wait, she is just 40 kilograms? One sec that is way too low for that height. Oh my god. Just realized that. What do I need to weigh the lever at this? Okay. The weight is 1300 grams. The liver is enlarged. Okay. I'll move on to a cross sectional study. Perhaps the enlargement is the result of early cancerous changes. Okay. Let's do the cutting again. The They're really ruling out everything. Smoothly. I don't feel like I'm encountering any changes with an unusual structure. There we go. No steatosis or cirrhosis. The liver is actually quite clean inside. Okay. Turn to the absorpsy. So, no liver the problems. Liver is basically healthy. We already know that the deceased didn't abuse alcohol. The question is what about drugs or other substances? I move on to the heart. She used drugs, she used alcohol, but we now figure out if she overused the drugs. Oh. What did she glance, see? We can see signs of a heart attack. The deceased is definitely too young to have a heart attack due to natural causes. The okay. liver is enlarged, not from alcohol poisoning. 
and the heart looks like it has collapsed. So I guess we need to go to the centrifuge oh, so ready. for these barbiturates. I think overdose might be a real problem here. Mark the damage to the heart on the clipboard. The last time I saw this kind of poisoning was a few years ago. I better check the data in my notebook. He was a middle-aged guy. He took his medication. Where did I put the heart? So he took my pocket. Hill. He forgot again and took another one, and another one, until he took the last one. That's why it's better to have amnesic drugs in boxes labeled with the days of the week. This sort of thing rarely happens anymore. Yeah. Doctors tend to prescribe benzodiazepines. They are safer, but still shouldn't be combined with alcohol. Okay. Uh, put samples in, or the sample. Oh no, we had two, right? Then All we right. had to put it on ten, and then seventy-five. The and there we go. That it doesn't trip anything again. Mm. Uh oh, there we go. Yesterday we saw someone standing there. Luck is in. Oh come on! We want some darkness here. Let the samples from the sensory rotor, okay. We can take the samples to the lab now. Alright, let's go. I wonder how she was able to get hold of these drugs. Probably a drug dealer, mate. Oh yeah, I still don't know. I still feel like she's been murdered, man. Okay, two samples this time. Six milliliters each. I like this. This is so cool. This is genuinely a cool game. I don't know why people are complaining. You should really have to figure out uh, what I, I like to f figure out on beforehand what might happen to that person and then I hope I'm right that's what I like to do and for now we are on the right way of her being killed though still still the weird thing is with her with the throat I still I still think she's been hit on the shoulder and on the stomach of course uh, but yeah I uh, I hope she for us to be right I hope she's been murdered. And I wonder why. There we go. Well, let's see how much of it we find. Please, please, not, don't let make it to be uh, overdoses on drugs. Nothing surprising. Significant amounts of phenobarbital metabolites of hepatic origin. <sighs> okay. What does it mean? Looks like I'll we'll have to check the contents of the deceased stomach. Okay, let's let's the test show that the collected blood contained enough barbiturates to cause cardiopulmonary collapse. The question okay. now is whether it was an accident or a deliberate act. I'm proceeding to examine the stomach. Before extraction, I ligate the entire organ to prevent its contents from spilling out. You can throw a stomach here, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm now cutting out the organ, which will move to the board for dissection. Normally, the stomach and intestines are full of surprises. What is happening? Why did our mind do that again? Someone's standing actually next to us now. That would be cool, right? <laughs> oh, I hope I'm right. That would be cool, man. I like to... Not this time. We Oi. see remnants of undigested food and a dense mass of pills. You don't take this many drugs by accident. No, no, but my question is now, is, did she do it on purpose? 
Or did someone feed it to her? While she was being strangled. Just checking the hallway a little bit like we do with Mortary Assistant. Length and width normal. No obvious pathological changes. Undigested drugs found in the stomach of the deceased. The direct cause of death was probably an overdose. I'll check the rest of the organs, and then the nervous system. We'll see how significant the marks on the neck are for the whole case. The deceased's trachea is normal. Complete patency. The lungs are normal. No lesions. The victim was probably a smoker. The deceased's intestine is normal. No clear pathological changes. Abdominal cavity checked off. We can check the brain. This is so cool. Sometimes it goes very fast, sometimes it goes very slow. I there you go, the lid oh. skull and remove the brain. I would like to shave her head though. That would have been just also a cool detail to do. Brain is normal. No obvious lesions. Alright. I need to dissect it on a board. Poor woman, look at this. Be torn apart. Holy moly. Using a knife, I carefully cut through the brain tissue. I peek inside a bit, and... we yeah, there we go, we did it already. The deceased's like, brain is in excellent condition. No as I said. Or changes due to like, hypoxia. There is still the matter of the marks on the neck. They look superficial, but who knows? Maybe the spinal cord has been severed. I need goggles and a saber saw. I think the goggles were in the desk drawer. Oh, they're out there. What was I saying? Alice. <clears throat> um, saw. I need saw. Fuck. I don't see it here. Oh. Uh, I know. I probably left it in the basement after its last cleaning. Okay. I forgot what I was from. Never mind. I will figure it out again. Let's let's get the uh, basement key from Ridley. Ridley, Mr. Ridley, I need a key to the basement. It's in the social room. Why is the key lying in the... Uh, never mind. Thank you. If only he could put that much enthusiasm into his work. I get the feeling that searching through this rubbish is more pathogenic than working with corp... Ugh, please, may this be the last trip. Where's the basement? Fuck. Why did the prison convoy have to get into an accident? Ugh, Jack. Take a deep breath. Deep, pleasantly cool breath. You're nearly finished with the autopsy. Then you can go home and rest. Where do I need to go? Oh, maybe the basement is outside, though. What's his room? Is it the basement outside? Maybe on the right side? The heck are we doing here? There's the basement. There it is. What do we do here then? No? Can't open it, right? Let me see. Maybe maybe the body's actually sitting straight up. That would be cool. Right? Oh, we can't go there. Never mind. You still need to figure out if. Oh man, I'm really curious now what happened to this. Fuck! It's jammed! Doesn't anyone do maintenance around here? Damn Hatch. Damn Red Pete. Why the damn Red Pete again? What happened between him and Red Pete? Why are we so afraid of Red Pete now? <clears throat> also weird, you're doing this job? Absolutely doing this job and then you're afraid of the basement? I know that's the saw, I'm gonna... See what's going on in the basement. 
Nö. Ich habe auch Sleeping Spado schon müde. Ja, let's grab the shard. Oh! It would be easier if I put things away properly. Jesus, that's get, that's get absolutely fuck out of me. Damn it. Okay, that's a good scare though. That was a good jump scare. Okay, we need to close it. Ugh, damn student lectures and their fucking props. <laughs> Well, they gave us a good scare, those students. And like clockwork, he's already sleeping. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but what is he protecting, man? From dead corpses? They had a problem. They're not, they're not running away. Sorry for the short interruption. I hope you all took the opportunity to grab some coffee. And now yeah, that I have, 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 to have I need, coffee. I'll move on to revealing the spinal cord. Spinal cord. Oh my god! The spine is removed. I can see that the spinal cord was not severed. This shows that apart from the marks around the neck, hanging didn't negatively affect the condition of the deceased. Ladies and gentlemen, almost over. Now, Poor to woman. sum up and tidy away the body. Oh my god, she, she, look at this, she got emptied. Absolutely emptied. The direct cause of Samantha Barker's death was a heart attack resulting from an overdose of barbiturates. Ah, oh, but the one I still wonder if she did it on her own or if someone came inside the house and did it to her. Right? Still want to say third party involvement. Traces found on the body suggest that the overdose was a deliberate act following a failed attempt to hang herself. The autopsy found no evidence or genetic materials indicating that death could have been the result of an attack. Third party involvement must be excluded. Why? Why? Why is it excluded? How did you come to the conclusion? Because the fact that somebody could have just done it to her, like maybe just a good friend so she wasn't feeling afraid or something like that. Uh, I still feel like uh, unknown. Oh, on homicide. After the first successful suicide attempt, hanging the deceased woman decided to overdose and perpetuates the results in a heart attack and death. No evidence of the third party involvement. Okay. Um, suicide. Autograph, and we can start sewing. Mr. Moons, of course. Oh, don't forget this one, right? We did that yesterday as well. Nice. In the 1950s and 1960s, the use of barbiturates for suicide was actually quite common. I think it was most talked about after the death of Marilyn Monroe. Oh yeah. Close the body. Alright, let's close the body. Poor woman. Completely empty. At home, it was a help and comfort. On death row, a farewell to the convicts. Hey, please also put your skull back. Well, we're done for today. Thank you for your attention. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Tiring day. I can feel those hunger pains coming on. I guess I'll have to pick something up along the way. Gloves in the trash. Leave the apron for cleaning. Uh, now I can go. Ugh, camera. I didn't turn it off. Ooh, something is about to happen now. Let, watch it, watch it, watch it. Yep. Turn it off. How can we turn it off? What? Okay, we're not allowed to turn it off. 
Get back to the car in the parking lot. There you go. Uh, a nightcap will do me good. Good night, Mr. Ridley. The police will pick up the body and accompanying documentation in the morning. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Poor guy. I guess there are actually two things in this world you can be certain of. Death and Ridley's reluctant attitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright, maybe three things. My whiskey on the rocks when I get home. This chapter what? So cold. I guess I should have brought my jacket to work. Uh, next time we this won't get the jacket. It can be quite intimidating when it's so quiet. Almost there. Uh, Stephen didn't want to go out for a drink tonight, so I'll drink my whiskey in the company of my TV. Ah, shit. I forgot the muffin. Well, Ridley will have a nice treat for the night. I'm sure he'll be his happy, thankful self tomorrow. Okay. An interesting game. Because I, I wonder how far they will go with the horror part. Right, with the scary part. Don't go any higher, sure. What? 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 We closed it, we closed what it. What the fuck? But, but I, I... I locked it. I, At I'm least? sure of it. Fucking red bead. Complete chapter one, all right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do chapter two, but not today. Not today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, this was chapter one. I think it's also a good end for today because I think there are just a couple of chapters that we can play in the whole game. So, uh, and every chapter, I believe, there is a case going on with the Red Line story in between. Probably now about Red Pete and uh, the whole... Alice part, Red Pete part. I'm curious I'm also about a little bit of the horror part still. We are still waiting for it. Uh, the f yesterday, as you saw, there was a guy standing there. Now the door just closed two times. Off. That actually scared us. So I hope in the next chapter it's going to be a bit more terrifying than this. Well, for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for the big support. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do come back tomorrow for the next episode. Because then we're going to play chapter two. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, have a good evening. Have a good day wherever you live. Make the best out of it. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.